Hello, I'm Angela with Polka Dot Sheet. And today I want to demonstrate for you a method of making short rows known as German short rows. When you're making short rows, you'll be instructed to knit to a certain point and execute your short row and method and um, start knitting in the other direction. So we're going to knit to that point. Just knit two stitches here. And then your directions will say something about turning your work. And in this case, you simply do that. So I'm going to turn my work around so the purl side is facing me. And it's important that you have the yarn in front for this method. So here the yarn is naturally in front. So we slip this stitch onto the needle purl-wise. Pull up. And you're pulling that stitch up and over your needle. And so what you'll end up with is what both legs pulled over the needle there. And then in this instance, you need to bring your yarn all the way back around and begin purling in the opposite direction until your instructions complete out the short row. So as you approach the next point where your instructions may say to turn, you turn again Bring your yarn to the front, so it's here in front of your work, even though this is a knit side facing you. Slip the stitch, purlwise, and pull up. And this one is a bit trickier because it wants to slide back down because it's you're doing something that it's not naturally going to want to do. So I find that I need to kind of hold it there with my finger until I execute that next stitch to hold it in place. And then it holds it in place. And continue to work back towards the other direction. As you approach that pulled and slip stitch, you're going to actually knit it as usual. It, it's going to have two strands in it and you need to go through both strands and knit it together. And it'll seem as if you're almost knitting and knit two together. You're not, but it'll feel like that. And then continue working. As you approach that slip stitch on the purl side, you work it just as you did on the knit side. Just so make sure you go under both strands, purl them together, and then continue working. And there you have it. A nice, tidy, short row method. Doesn't leave lots of gaps and is nearly invisible. So thank you very much for joining us here at Polka Dot Sheet.